All right, and we are back. Um, if you go right here, the next one is shipping, okay? Now, this one is very important, but I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to go through this one when I when we actually add products, okay? Because it really, really helps because you have to, in order to really get this right, you have to really go through and set up the entire printful program so we're going to come back to this one okay the next one right here is taxes okay so we're going to click on taxes all right now automatically when you set up everything and you put your address in uh it's united states now if you're in another country you have to go into shipping which i'm going to show you and you have to add a shipping zone but that's for you guys who are not in the, most of you guys are in the United States. So you would go right here, click on that. You would name your zone. Let's just say it's, you live in Canada or Mexico or wherever. You go right there to Canada and then you go right here to add countries. And then you would go through and you would add whatever country that you want. Okay. Like Canada and you would add. I don't want to do that, so I'm just telling you how to do it. You would add that, and then you would save it. But I'm not going to do that because what I have is already here. But this is just for you guys who are in other countries. So let's go back. So we're back in taxes, okay? And pretty much everything is pretty much done for you, right? Um, you want to click right here where it says United States or whatever country you've added. You click right here. And automatically, it's automatically defaulted because i'm in new york and everything is automatically set up okay but let's just say you wanted to add uh, your state okay let's say you wanted to let's just say california california and you put your zip code in i'm just going to put a 90210 like beverly hills uh and then you go right here add state Okay, and you can go right here and you can get rid of um, New York. Now, with all of these things, this is just an overall general overview. Um, to be really ser serious about this, you might want to contact uh, a CPA or your local state tax service and really get everything straight. But this is just the basics of what's going on. Okay, and then after that, you know, you simply, you click over here. Let's just, I'm just going to get rid of California. Delete. It's already been successfully saved. Okay. Now the next one right here, and that's done. That's pretty much done. That's your taxes. Now, now this is automatically when a person, just to let you know, when a person from New York comes in, they're going to have to, if, if a person also in New York comes, they're going to have to pay uh, state sale tax but the other people in other states and other countries don't that's just how it works guys so let's go right here that's done to notifications okay now what this is right everything here is already done for you but what this is is the notifications that go out when people s set up their accounts and set up and buy stuff these are just notifications that can go out, like order no notifications. So what this is, is that this notification automatic is, is sent automatically to a customer after they place their order, meaning, hey, thank you for purchasing. You know, your stuff is on the way, blah, blah, blah. Cancel order. If someone cancels, someone goes out, you cancel an order. Uh refund if someone gets a refund or something like that all these are automatically set to go out okay abandoned checkout if a person wants to buy something like i told you and maybe they don't want to put in all the information or the price is too high or whatever um this is your abandoned checkout okay all of these are automatically set to go out when things happen okay shipment fulfillment requests sent automatically to third-party fulfillment service provider when your items are fulfilled meaning when printful happens and someone orders this is automatically going out going out to the person this is really great how shopify has this set up shipping 
confirmation sent automatically to the customer when the order is fulfilled you see how great all this stuff is automatically set up okay you can go through these and look at everyone but everything is automatically set up now the thing about it is you can actually go in and this is more advanced so probably when I do an advanced course I'll show you this you can customize these now these automatically right now they work right now but if you click right here on this order confirmation you can actually go in and change the HTML and add your own custom logos and custom information and change it to your own wording and stuff like this um, but at, and but that's if you want to get all fancy smancy but these are automatically set up to go out and they work just fine okay so we're gonna go back into notifications and that's pretty much how that works now down here this right here is order notifications okay this pretty much is really great because you can set these anytime you get an order you get a notification all right and when you're first starting out this is great this is great because you get notified as to oh man you just got an order it really is great you can set it to go to uh, your mobile and it's automatically set when you when an order is made okay and down here is where you can go to set where the email goes and you can actually send this to test this out It's really really great okay um, desktop notifications and this is where you can go in and enable so we're gonna click right here and as you can see hold on hold on get desktop notifications when you receive a new order all this is right here okay your website blah 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 is asking to display desktop notifications allow desktop notification has been made so send you can send yourself a test this is really really cool okay and that is that that is your notifications man really really simple okay files pretty much any you can just put this stuff here this is any pictures any photos any custom logos that you're going to use right here in notifications or anywhere you can just upload your files right here okay sales channels now this right here is um really really advanced i'm not going to really cover this and it's not it's important when sh when you get into other stuff but what this is is this is the ability to add apps to other places and sell like you can add facebook and sell on facebook and instagram and all that stuff um and you can actually sell right there on the platforms via these sdks and making apps and all this stuff but that's complicated that's really advanced the bottom line is right now you could just you know put an ad up and just send people direct to your website this is just advanced stuff that you really don't need right now you don't need this to actually sell online so i'm just going to save this for something a little bit more advanced okay so it's cool but it's not necessary to have a, a, a successful uh, website okay and the last one right here is simply your account. And this is where you can go in right now. You're on a trial basis. This is where you go in and you add your account. And um, you, you add your your um, credit card. And you figure out which account you actually want. Do you want the basic account? Do you want the uh, middle account? Or do you want the all out super premium account? okay and this right here you can go in and view Shopify account summaries of your payouts and all that stuff you can go back if you have staff members like a virtual assistant you can add that person right there so they'll be able to log in and do certain things invoices and fees account summary you can go in and look at all this stuff is really really uh, simple
and this right here you can go right here and you can compare your plans okay twenty nine dollars a month the basic and you can look through that seventy nine and two ninety nine a lot of these have a lot of advantages I suggest when you're first starting out go with the twenty nine ninety nine plan and as you start to make more money and you want to add stuff you can just slowly go up but this is the basic minimum after your um, initial trial has run out you want to go in and make this happen and that is your settings okay and as I said before once we get into um, adding after we've added products we're going to come back and go over shipping because that's very important uh, and that's it um, really really simple but a lot of the most important thing is to make sure that you have your payment set up and your checkout stuff set up and everything is everything so I'm going to see you in the next video and we're going to go over the printful setup all right i'll see you in the next video peace and blessings